Hi and welcome to Spice and Pants. Today we will be making yakitori. So let's start cooking. We will prepare the sauce for the yakitori now. The sauce is actually pretty simple. You will need one third of a cup of water which is approximately 85 ml. Half a cup of sake, approximately 125 ml. One third cup of light soya sauce, approximately 85 ml. One third cup of mirin, which is 85 ml too. This is the sweet cooking wine. Just put that in. Half an onion, just cut into wedges like this, put them in. We just want the flavor to be out. As well as the green part of one scallion. Just put them in too. One tablespoon of brown sugar. Hold them in. Now we'll stir them until they become sticky and thick. And this will be the basting sauce of our yakitori. The sauce is almost done. Once the sauce coats the back of a spoon easily, that means it's done. Please use a non-stick pan to do this because it's easier to cook this way and it won't burn easily. Always remember to use low fire. I'm using a green pan to do this, a non-stick green pan, sauce pan to do this. And now we are off the fire and wait for it to cool down. And we'll prepare the chicken now. Now I'll show you how to put the meat in the skewers. I'm using two pieces of boneless chicken thigh, approximately 210 grams each. So I'm using two pieces of this, so it's 420 grams. All you got to do right now is just to cut them in half like this. Okay, and then we'll fold them up a little, all right? Like this, fold them in half again, and then just cut them into sizes like this. You can either keep the skin or remove the skin. For me, I prefer with the skin on because there's a little bit of fat, so the meat won't be too dry when you bake them in the oven or broil them in the oven. So this will approximately make you about seven to eight skewers, around seven skewers actually. So continue with the rest and cut them as the same size. We will need two stems of the scallions, cut them into sizes like this. Remember to soak your bamboo skewers. I've soaked them in water for approximately half an hour so that they won't get burned easily, especially if you want to roast this on an open fire. So aim for the center, push it all the way through to approximately slightly more than half of it. Follow with a piece of meat, push through the skin first, approximately about one third, one quarter of it. Push it through. Turn it a little bit so you can get, get it going easily. Right? When this out, just turn it to the other side like this and just push it through again. All the way through. Simple. Now do the rest. So follow up with the rest, exactly the same. We'll use four pieces of scallion with three pieces of the chicken meat. Push it through, press it down. Get another piece, same things. Okay, just push it through, through the skin first. Make sure that all the meat are actually through the skewers so you don't want any of the meat to drop out when you bake them or roast them. Turn it down to the other side and do the same too. Just push it down. Follow with another piece of scallion. Another piece of meat. It's a very easy dish to master. You can also prepare this as an entree or as a starter for your parties. Push it in. And same with the other side, push it in. Through the skin. If you have a metal skewer, it will be much easier, but I'm using a bamboo one, this disposable type. And then you top it up with another skillet. Okay? So continue with the rest, and then I'll show you how to actually bake this in an oven. Now we're prepared to roast the skewers, the chicken skewers. First, you need to oil your grill so that the meat will not stick onto it. So just move it up and down. We just want to make sure you oil the grill so that the meat will not stick onto it. Very simple like this. Okay, then we just place the chicken on top. I've also heated up my oven at 220 degrees. So we're going to bake this in the oven in a while. Okay, we'll put this in the oven now. The oven is Heat it up at 220 degrees Celsius. I'm now putting this in. Putting this at the third level over here. And we are baking this at for 20 minutes. At the 10 minutes mark, we'll take this out and base it with the sauce. 
So 10 minutes is up. Let's just take this up. Now we base it. Remember the sauce that we made just now? I've divided them into two thirds and one third. Two thirds is to base this and the other one third is to just cover it with the sauce after we are done. So we're just going to base this now. Continue to do with the rest. So after you're done with one side, we just turn it to the other side and base it too. If you're wondering why I did not base it before I put it in the oven, basically it's because this sauce is a little bit on the sweet and savory side and I don't want to chop them too early. It might be burnt before it actually get cooked. Hence, I'm, I need to cook them for about 80% done before actually I baste them. So when this is done, we'll put it in the oven at the top shelf and let this cook for another 10 minutes. I will not recommend pan frying this because the sauce is, it might stick to your pan and might actually burn your meat. So you can do air frying. If it's an air frying, please do take care of it because the temperature is pretty hot in the air fryer. Otherwise, oven will be a very safe choice. We put it back into oven. Put it at the top shelf because we want to um, hard grill this a little bit with a little bit of burnt. That would be fantastic. So we turn this to 10 minutes. And when 10 minutes is up, it should be done already. So 10 minutes is up. Let's have a look. Beautiful. Just the way I want it to be. So let's prepare this for plating now. Using the additional sauce that we have reserved, we are going to baste this and plate this up. Just brush it. See how beautiful this is? Very glossy kind of a look. Very delicious. Goes excellent with fried rice or even just steamed rice alone. So after this is done, we will just put it on a plate. So once this is done, we will serve this. So ladies and gentlemen, this is how we make our yakitori. I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.